gamers and my ADHD nation. Yeah. Look at the framing on this. Make sure it's around my fingers and it's all cinematic. Wait, before we focus on my face again, camera. It's time for another ADHD video where I go and I look at different things. But first, before the video begins, new soft boy cloud merch is out. Ooh, baby, I designed this sucker myself. This is my handwriting. Wait, this one. <laughs> I'm super, super excited about this new merch drop. I designed these myself. I really, really love them a lot. So there's this, and there's also these other things. There is a hoodie, there's a crew neck, there's this long sleeve, there's a t-shirt. There's also three new Crank Gameplays phone grips. They're pockets, but legally, uh, uh, legally I can't call them pockets, so they're phone grips, but it's, it's the same thing. So there's new stuff down Below, if you click the link in the description, crankcameplays.com, uh, go and check out the new stuff. I really, really love it a lot. These are these are my favorite colors, so I put them on. I put them on. I put them on a shirt. So yeah, crankcameplays.com. Go and snag them uh, if you want them. These are gonna be out for a while, so let me know what you think. Okay, that's video time. We're back again, looking at more ADHD fidgety something stimulation toys. Stimulation toys might be a different thing. <laughs> but we're back reviewing these toys again. I went on Amazon uh, in the last video. I just bought a box of 32 different toys, which it actually wasn't really 32 different toys. It was like maybe eight or nine different ones, but they put multiples of things. So I went on Amazon and I bought like eight or nine more, but ones that I specifically thought would look slash work really well. Some of these are like the highest rated ones. Some of them are ones that I thought that I would just like. First one, this just looked cool and I don't know if it's actually gonna work well or not. Um, it's a little, I used to drive stick. I love driving stick. It's a little like gear shifty boy. It's a little like gear shift. So you can, you can shift gears, which is kind of cool. It's not super smooth. It's not very like, it's not very fun to use. <laughs> and like, you can kind of just mess around with it with your thumb um, or your fingers, whatever. It's just not, it's not very smooth. It's a little bit clunky, but I don't know. It's all right. Eh, five out of 10, it's, it's okay. I don't think I'll use this at all. This one I actually tried out already because I ordered one before and it wasn't what I ordered. I ordered a, a fidget ring. So the outside, the outside of the ring spins. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it spins. It's all right. It's not super smooth. Um, this one's also too small. I didn't know how to measure my finger and I bought a seven. I don't know what my ring size is. I don't wear rings. Uh, this is like a four out of 10. Ah. Uh, it's like a six. It is just a nice thing that you can do and you don't have to think about it at all. And you just like, you just do it. But it's not, I don't like that it makes a sound. I want it to be completely silent and I want it to be smoother. It doesn't, it's not super smooth. So that's this ring thing. It's all right. I also think it would be better if it was bigger so then I could actually put it on my finger correctly. But you know, it's, it's whatever. I have these three bags bags what are these pouches that all look really similar so i'm not really even sure what's in them i also kind of forget what everything i got is but that's okay let's check out this one first this one is called orbiter fidget toy anti-depression toy okay <laughs> it's got a little a little pouch here let's see what's inside oh this thing that's right so it's a little it's like a little ball thing and it goes around like this um, do you do this? Is this how you do it? It's kind of, the ball can fall off. Okay, so it's just magnetic. It's just magnetic. I don't really know if I like this, to be honest, because I don't really want to do this. I want to like use it kind of like a fidget spinner. I get the concept of it, but it, Ugh. the marble also falls off really easily. I'll give it like a four out of 10. It looks cool online and I thought that I would really, really like it, but it, I don't know. I don't really like it. Or am I supposed to hold the ball? No, it's, that's no different. The pouch is kind of cool though. I kind of like the pouch. It's nice. It's a nice little carrying case. All right, let's move on to another couch. Couch, pouch. What's this say? Fidgeting keychain gold, adults, friends. What? <laughs> Oh, that's right. It's these. They're little Thor's hammers. Yeah, look at this baby. 
so the bottom spins and I I guess also this thing spins too um I kind of wish so it's kind of nice so you can also like oh, I guess maybe you can't spin the whole thing because I want I kind of want the whole thing to spin there's also a gold one here but there's also these different attachments where you could unscrew it and screw it back in because I I don't I don't really want it to work like that like it's kind of cool but I kind of want to just like spin it around in my fingers you know as a as a whole thing it is kind of heavy though oh, you have to be worthy to wield this weapon I get the appeal because you can just like do this or just do this which is kind of nice but I want to just be able to twist the the whole thing like I, I kind of wish this didn't rotate and I think putting this on would make it so it wouldn't rotate but I, I don't know because it's not it won't come off I can't get it off let's try this now this is called the luck euro I thought that each one of these ridges I thought it all moved it's just the bottom it's just the bottom that spins I don't like that so you can sort of see how it moves a little bit that's disappointing so you just like put it on I guess you could just put it on a table and just spin it around continuously hmm that's kind of fine doing it now I wanted each individual thing to move because I thought I was gonna be able to like flick it around with my thumb but you can't because it's just the the bottom it's like a lazy Susan the bottom thing turns but the rest of the thing is just solid and it's just engraved a little bit so it looks like a little a little spiral when you spin it around that's disappointing. I thought that was going to be cool. Let's do the last pouch that looks like this. Ooh, wait, what one is this called? Nothing. This one has potential, guys. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. This kind of cool. This kind of cool. Ooh. So you can do that. Just spin it spin it around and then the gears keep a turning ooh so you can spin the gears wow that's kind of nice if you do it on here so this doesn't turn like that does see this turns this does not this you you just have to spin the gear part ooh i think I think I like that because I just spin the top. Yeah, I think I like that. And then if I want a different flavor, go like this. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. And then you flip it around and then you just spin it like this. It doesn't spin. It's just the just the gear part. I don't know which one I like more. I like this one a lot. This is like a it's like a seven and a half or an eight out of ten, I think. I like that. I like that. This one I'm excited about. This is called Ono. Oh this is all it is. Just two little things that that spin and then you do this. I like it. So it's just these tubes. They spin. Both of them spin. And then you just like roll it around in your hand. And I like the I like the feel of, of it a lot. It's a very repetitive action. The way that it fits in my hand is a little weird. So it's like a little bit clunky. I kind of wish that I, I didn't have to like adjust as much as I do because I do have to adjust it a little bit. And like sometimes it does like kind of hurt a little bit because it'll like hit a weird part in my hand. But going backwards or going forwards, I really like, <laughs> I really like this one. This is nice gamers. This is really nice. I really like it. Oh, and you can roll it. You can roll it on surfaces. Oh, I can just roll it back and forth. Oh, baby, I like it. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> you just roll it back and forth on your hands? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, that's nice. This is like a 9 out of 10. This is good shit. Good shit. It's just a nice action, you know? It's a nice, nice action. I think we have one more. I know that this video is a little bit quicker, but a lot of the toys are sort of like similar ish as far as fidget toys go so there weren't a ton that we hadn't seen before obviously fidget spinners are the um the number one fidget toy or the most popular i guess but another thing that i saw in the comments a lot this was like the most requested one was this this is an infinity cube i saw 
tons of people commenting about this. So this is this is what it is. It's a little it's made up of a bunch of cubes and then you can fold it like this. You can fold it like this and like this and make it a cube and it kind of just like folds into itself. Now I see the appeal to this. I personally don't really like it all that much. It's it's too much of um it's too much of a puzzle for me in the sense that it doesn't just like fold into itself easily enough. You kind of got to like play around with it. I definitely see the appeal, but I want something that I can quickly do repetitive stuff with. You know what I mean? Like with with uh, with this, I can just spin it in my hand over and over again without doing anything. But this, you gotta fidget around with it a little bit more, which I guess is also the point is that you're fidgeting with something. It's more of a consistent fidget with just doing it with my finger or with this where I'm just going back and forth like that. So I definitely, I definitely see the appeal because it is fun to play with for sure, but not necessarily for me. I also like the pattern on this one a lot. It's like a blood spatter kind of looking thing. But yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. I do, I do enjoy it. I think out of all of these, the worst one, this one was the most disappointing. I I do kind of like it when it's on a table and you can just kind of spin it around. That one was the most disappointing because I thought it was going to be different. The fidget ring kind of sucks. It's just too clunky. That like ball, where is it? This one also kind of sucks. I just, I just don't see how you would, because you can't like flick it around really. I don't know. I don't know how you'd use this. The stick shift one, it just feels kind of cheap and clunky. It's weird. The Thor's hammer Mjolnir ones, they're all right. It's just not really what I want, you know, but I do see the appeal. All of these were bought on Amazon, by the way, but I think my top two, this one and this one are my top two babies. These are really, really nice. I do like the infinity cube though. Like I definitely, there also might be like a learning curve <laughs> with it where like some people can do it really, really fast and that's why they like it. Anyway, that's kind of the end of the video. I just wanted to do a follow up because most of the toys in the last thing that I got were kind of shitty. And so I wanted to do a follow up where I was like, all right, I'm gonna go and find like the most popular ones, the highest reviewed ones, ones that I think that I would particularly enjoy. Um, but these are fun and they definitely do help with just like ADD and stuff like that. So maybe check them out for yourself. Again, all these I found on Amazon. They were all relatively cheap. There was a couple ones, the Infinity Cube one, um, I think was kind of expensive. I think it might've been like $30 or something. Oh, these two were the most expensive. These were both 25 each. There is one more that I forgot that I got, which I used to play with these all the time in like middle school and stuff. This is a butterfly knife trainer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope that you enjoyed this. I enjoyed just like doing this. I don't know, it's was, it was just kind of fun. And you guys really, really liked the last video. So I thought that I'd make a follow up. Um, but thank you guys so much for uh, sticking around and saying hi and whatnot. Remember, new Soft Boy merch is out now if you want to go and get it, baby. Not only is it the merch that I'm like the most proud of design wise, I think it's really sleek and cool looking, but quality wise, it's really, really good quality. Um, again, because of um, everything going on in the world right now, and especially in the US with USPS, shipping is going to take a while. So just keep that in mind. One, my, uh, my merch company is working with way, 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 way less people than they usually have because of everything going on, but also shipping, which is totally out of their control and my control is really, really delayed. So they're shipping them out as fast as they possibly can, but some of the shipping, depending on what what it is, whether it's UPS, USPS, whatever, is taking a really long time. So please be patient. I know that kind of sucks. There's nothing that I can do. There's nothing that my merch company can do. It's just kind of the way that it is right now. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of the new merch. Let me know what you think of these fidget toys. If you have any others that I should check out, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you later, gamers. What is that, my crazy crew?